Hey everybody, Adam from Atlas Gunworks, here to talk about some new guns um, for the 2024 lineup, and then uh, all the guns that are currently available. I'm going to do in sections of, of uh, what guns kind of compete with each other and how they um, they might beat each other in performance. So basically each group would be a decision you'd have to make, which gun do I want in this group? So we'll start with, uh, and just quick introduction, the EOS is our um, new carry gun. It's um, awesome. We'll get to uh, the details on the carry guns in a minute. The Apollo is our new do everything, kind of if you can only have one pistol gun. So um, the Apollo, <clears throat> what's different is porting. So um, this is an, a very similar to the ESP2 um, design. And uh, we made some room for some ports, and we've got that V porting, which works super well. Um, in fact, so well that it, it probably starts to take over for the block gun. So the best block gun in nine millimeter with a normal grip is going to be your Artemis. So I've got an Artemis here. That's a block gun. And then I've got a V ported 4.6 inch gun. This is going to be five inch total overall gun. This gun's going to point a little cleaner because it's a little less weight out front. The recoil is almost identical. Um, it, it may be a slight edge to the porting. Um, and then less weight and less com you know less complex. Having the blocks set up so that they all match perfectly takes a lot of time, so it adds a lot of cost. So this is a higher performance gun. The only downside, um, it, you know, and again, I would take this just because it's simpler than this gun. And these are medium grip pressure. If you have almost no grip pressure and you want a competition gun, you're going to run the Nemesis. This gun was designed around 40. We almost always sell them now in 9mm. It's awesome in 40, by the way. But um, if you're getting a 9mm gun, which is 99% of what we do, the Nemesis is the last iron-sighted only gun we do too. So um, not a lot of applications for that, but this is if you want iron sights and you have very, very little grip pressure, that is the best option there. So very few people are doing that this these days. The Artemis has been a huge seller. The Transitions Perfect Zero returns amazing. This gun probably edges that out. Costs less. It's a little simpler. Points a little better because it's not quite as, as heavy. So one downside, it's got ports. So if you want to do competition, you either need to do an Artemis or you need to do an Athena. So the Athena is the trusty. It's been for a very long time, probably the number one gun with a dot um, system on it, the red dot system. That's just the first gun we did with that. So that's the Athena. Otherwise, these two are the same minus it's the ports is the only real difference in some aesthetics. So if you need to shoot competition, IDP is allowing ports, I believe, in ESP. Check the rules. Don't hold me to that. But if you shoot USPSA, you've got to go with an Athena or an Artemis. That's the do everything competition, you know, middle weight, middle size gun. You know, your Glock 17 um, would be the comparison in their lineup. They, I think that gun's got a 4.4 or 4.5 inch barrel. So these are 4.6 at middle. That middle size that does everything. The the other one that just plays a little bit in there is the trusty old Titan, right? The original gun we did, now we do them Titan RDS. This is a five inch gun, a little bit of a legacy system. There are some folks who like a traditional five inch gun. They point a little bit different. They track a little bit different. Um, most of us that have medium, medium plus grip pressure are gonna like the four six guns a little better than the fives, but um, this is your classic. Well, we should, you know, we'll probably always make a classic five inch um, double stack 1911. So, moving back away from competition for a minute, we go to carry, and the new hotness in carry is the EOS. So, it is a four or a 4.25 inch gun, much like the Ares. The only difference between these two guns, the Ares can come with or without ports. This one happens to have it. Um, the EOS is ports only. Frames are different. So, steel frame to aluminum frame. Steel frame's about five ounces heavier. Um, what we're finding is guys want to do everything gun and you're only buying one. So you want to EDC carry it and you want to do everything with it. You're only buying one gun, then you buy the EOS, right? If you're going to carry every day, I would still recommend you for the extra five ounces that you do the EOS. This gun shoots insane. It only comes ported. The only thing to worry about is when you draw from the, um, if you're going to shoot from you know, a quick out of the holster position, you just need to clear your shirt because you get some flames coming out of here. But with nine millimeter, it's not, it's not a big deal. It's not as bad as through the seven SIG and some of the other crazy calipers back in the day. So all aluminum frame, uh, steel frame, and then the, the original 4.25 gun is the Nix. And that has the, um, alpha grip system with the changeable grip panels. These two carry guns don't, every other gun in the lineup does. 
Um, so again, if you could only have one gun and do everything, um, it would be the EOS because the carry is in the everything. If I could only have one gun and I, and it wasn't going to do competition and wasn't going to do carry just the ultimate range gun, ultimate, it's still a good holster gun. Um, then I do go back to the Apollo. Um, this gun shoots amazing. This gun shoots just that much better. 10%, 20% better. It's, it's not, a, it's. It, they're both so much better than, than we anticipated that the V porting the way we do it just is insane. It just works. Um, we just shot this against some comparable other folks with top porting and it. it's, this is just better yeah, in every way. So again, do everything, not, um, USPSA or three gun typically. And then this is do everything and carry it and not USPSA or three gun, but, um, and then three gun and us specific. You're probably looking at an Athena or an Artemis. Um, and then the one thing we haven't talked about is the open guns. So this is your F1 version, which is nervous. So this one has panels in it, but they can remember all the guns take panels, but these two. But uh, titanium comp on the 2024 versions and previous versions as well. Um, but this is your super race car um will work great on um on pump gas on factory ammo um but if you really want to maximize it um hand loading here gets um on the very low end 100 power factor and then again on the little bit higher end 140 power factor plus um and, and the max is out about 150 um you get really really flat shooting gun that you can tune with ammo the factory ammo does work really well in these and they they will shoot very very well I would make a strong argument that your Apollo is almost as close. It's so close and so much, it's less money. It's so much easier to make. It's a simpler gun. There's less to go wrong. If I could only have ones, I'm taking this one. Um, if I'm shooting competitively in USPSA or Steel Challenge and I'm going to make my own ammo and I absolutely want to race to the limit and win, then then that's where the Eurobus fits in. And lots of people like the Eurobus and like to shoot factory ammo out of it, and it works great, and it's definitely sexy. And, uh, um, you know, a lot of people have comps on these things that don't work. This one definitely works. And then the balance of this gun is it's really, really good, too. Um, but again, very competition-focused. Um, if I could only have one and do everything, I'm shooting an Apollo. I'm not competition-focused. Best range gun on the planet. Probably best open gun on the planet, not shooting major power factor, shooting standard power factor. Hope to see you guys on the range soon. Thank you